Hi, this is PDF Version Arcade at versionarcade.com, and this is tutorial 167. So let's go ahead and open up Unity. Now, where we left off, we've got all of our character. Well, we've got a few of the character meshes already done. Uh, well, the materials, sorry. Uh, we finished the character meshes because I only have two. If you have more, feel free to add them. I've only finished up three weapons, so as I finish more, I'll just add them here. And I've finished the torso and I've finished face so I'm just going to quickly do leg, feet and hands and as you can see I've gone ahead and I've filled them all up. Uh, so let's just go into mono develop and start coding. Now it really shouldn't be that hard. Uh, we've set up our function here to handle everything fairly easily. The only thing we're really going to have to do is add the GUI for it. But even then, that's not that hard. So I'm going to come down here. And in my switch block, I'm actually just going to add another case. And my case will be character mesh material. And well, let's do feet next. I'm just going to stick my break in there. And then I'm going to add the next case which uh, I believe I don't have legs done yet. And I believe the last one was hands. So we'll put the hands in there. Throw the break in and we can just cut and paste this here. And actually before we do, I gotta come up here and create the variables that we need for the indexes. So. We'll just go right above the, I'm going to go right below the face. Um, so what's next? Next is hand, feet, and legs. So I actually want to go under here. And my logic behind it is I just want to work from the top of the body down. Outside of that, it really doesn't matter. And we'll do hand material index. And of course, I started off at the default which you want showing when your player has no armor on and private int and we'll do legs next so I'm just going to say leg material index and start that off at default and then the feet material index and start that off at zero so we should have five total. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So I'm going to start with face. And let me see. Oh, I'm sorry. We've already done face. Uh, I'm going to start with hand because it's the next in the list working down. So I'll come down here. Here's hand. Uh, I'm just going to quickly paste this variable in right here just so I don't have to go to the top to cut and paste it. But I can just cut this out or sorry copy it out and I'll paste it in I grab that variable now and I'll just go through and replace 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 and replace now I'm just simply gonna look up where that array is stored and I called it hand material so I'll just come back in and basically the same thing just come through if we don't look for the torso material look for the hand material and hand material and I also forgot down here now I'm sure there's a better way we could come through and refactor this and make it even better uh, but if you notice it's kind of late and I've been sick for the last little while so this is good enough for now I already know we're going to want to come back and redo it when we start making uh, templates for weapon types and armor types. But just to get the system up and running, uh, we'll just do a basic implement implementation. So I just want to make sure I have all my hand stuff done. Make sure I'm not seeing any torso. I'm just going to save that off. I'm going to go back into Unity and let's see if we have any errors. We probably won't. But if so, we'll catch them now. So we don't. And we'll just look at the hands. So the hands are being drawn on the basic hands, and I have not made the GUI for it. I'll do that last. Uh, I'm going to do the legs next. So I'll come up, cut and paste. And we're going to do the hand. And 
I'm just going to actually move that brake back a bit just to make sure it's all lined up. So here are the legs. I'm going to come up. I'm going to grab my variable for leg. And I'm going to take a look. It's probably leg material, which it is. And then I come back down. <laughs> so here we are. We switch here. Switch here. Whoops, not the whole line. Just the variable. And here. And here. And here. I just want to make sure I do have my hand here. Okay. And it was called leg variable. So I'll just cut and paste that in as well. So we come through, cut there, and there, and there. So apparently there's three. Three for the material array, and one, two, three, four, five for the other. Okay. So guess what we do next? We just cut and paste. And I'm going to put it here, and of course, it's probably called feet material index. And I'll scroll down to the first one, and we just paste over everything. And then I'll go grab the name of the array. And uh, save it off. I'm going to go take a look. Uh, there should be no more gray spots. This should all be set to the default. And there we go. And of course, we have uh, the ability to change some of them. Now, if you notice our materials when we're hitting, switching between the two, uh, it's going up by four. Uh, I'm not 100% sure right now. So what I'm going to do is come down to the very bottom. And this is where we're actually switching the material. Or sorry, our uh, character mesh between fat and muscular. At the very end, I'm just going to add the resources, unload unused assets. And this way here, when we start it back up and we start playing with our, our uh, muscular and fat, we don't have to worry about it uh, not unloading those materials. Now, if you notice, we actually do have quite a few materials. 199 is pretty excessive. Uh, when we start getting into templates, uh, we, we'll be able to drop that pretty drastically because most of those materials being loaded up, uh, we're not even using. We never see, and there's no reason for them to actually be in memory until we need them. But even then, I believe they're only something like 4K, so it's not like it's a huge system resource, but it is something to keep in mind. So let's stop that off and let's add uh, some more GUI. And I'm just going to keep going up, 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 and keep going. Here we go. And all we really have to do is just cut and paste this. Now it actually would be nice to put all of these in one function. And you know, of course, it could just be change mesh materials and since the only thing that's really changing is the what we're increasing as far as what variable we're using and the position of it on the screen, it would be pretty easy to put into some sort of for loop. Uh, but I'm going to leave that for you to figure out because honestly, the way you put your controls on your screen is going to be more for personal taste. I just want to get the basic impl implementation down and just leave it up to you to you know put them where you want. But I do know I need to increase this by, uh, I believe it was 35, so 175. So I'm actually going to start being over my character. Uh, I'm going to come down here. I'm just going to change that and down to this one. Change that. And i got to decide which one I want this to be. Uh, this is the face. I'm actually going to leave it as the face. Tell what the face at the top. Uh, what I'm going to do is come down to this one here, and uh, I'm going to move torso above it. Again, it's just me wanting some sort of order of the way it is. So I'm working from the head down. So I'm going head, torso, hands, legs. So this one here is going to be change hand material, GUI. And I'm also going to have to change the position of these. So we're just going to swap them. So this becomes 140. Uh, let me see, we'll have to do 140 here. 
and 140 here. And this becomes 105. And of course, now after I've started changing them, I realize that I've got more to go under them. But maybe I'll just start sticking them off to the side. And let me see, this is change hand material. So I'm just going to come up to the top just to make sure I get the variable name right. And we'll just come down here and just start plugging it in. Make sure we're passing in the right variable here and we're doing hands. And we'll come through here. Whoops. I accidentally copied instead of pasted. And we'll come through here. And again, we'll call hands. Oops. And of course, I didn't use IntelliSense, and I got a typo. So I'm going to make sure that this method is called from on GUI. And let me see, we got face, torso, and of course, next will be hands. So I'll save it off, and again, I want to come in and check it out, make sure there's no errors. And none appeared, so we're just going to start this bad boy up. And hands should be at the bottom. There we go. And if we notice, materials are not going up and up and up. Let's give them some nice glowing red eyes and a big axe. There we go. And yeah, let's make them fat. <laughs> okay, so that's working. I'll just stop that. I'm going to head back in and let's do legs and uh, feet. So I'll just copy the change hand one. And I'm just going to put a bunch of room in here. And I'm going to cut and paste twice. And I'll change this to legs. And I'll change this one to feet. And I'm pretty sure my leg material index was just called leg material index. But it's pretty late and I don't want to take the chance of having to sit here and debug a typo. And we increase there. We are going to have to move the position, but that's fine. And we pass in legs here. And we come across. We want the leg material index here. I'll reposition them in a bit. All right, so now I just have the position to do. And while it's... Since I'm just trying to get the functionality working, I'm actually just going to start cheating and putting them above. So the highest one we have is 175, and we want to go 35 above that, so 210. Uh, I can move them around later. Let's just get them up. So 210. I'll come down here, and there goes my mouse. Okay, and this one's 210. And we come down here, and another 210. And we'll just go another 35 up off of that, which will be 245. Uh, 245. And 245. Great, we've already got to change uh, the name, so let's go up and we'll grab the name from the enumeration. Or sorry, not from the enumeration, from the variable here. And we come flying back down. And we just start to cut and paste. And this is feet. And we come through. We'll want to change that. And that one's okay. We'll change there. And we'll change feet. So let's save that off. Now there's absolutely no way to tell which ones work which control, uh, but since we got all the functionality up, uh, let me see, I don't seem to have them here because I'm not calling them. 
Uh, but like I said, once I get all the functionality and I can go ahead and just move those around to the side of the screen. And let me just actually quickly start it up. I think it'd be kind of neat to ideally position some of them. So the ones that are around the feet, uh, maybe have a arrow pointing this way with a boot or something on it and another boot this way or even possibly just having uh, boots right well let's go to the side because this GUI is in the way but we could have like a little boot icon down here with these little arrows on either side or we can even do sliders later on I'm probably going to save the sliders for changing colors but likewise for the pants and then we could put a little icon of the pants and have these little arrows on each side of it in the shirt the hands and the face it might even be nice to zoom in on the area that we're playing around with but let's stop this here and go add those function calls to our on GUI so feet was first and I'm just gonna cut and paste it in for the legs and I'm gonna leave a space for the weapon mesh and change this to legs. Actually, I believe I'm using singular. Uh, let me just check. Nope, I'm using no, uh, plural. So we'll save that off. And like I said, I've cheated and moved them up. So it's going to be really confusing to the user. Because now when they're up here changing stuff, they got their boots changing. So let's put them all in his top level armor. And I'm going to turn them a bit. Okay. And let's get those uber legs. There we go. Uber legs, uber feet. Uh, Non-default face. I guess if we turn them around, we'll see that. Ah, that's a better glowy eye one. Yeah, I kind of like that one. And there we go for there, and there we go for there. So this could be, you know, like your ultimate armor in game or whatever you want. It could be your starter armor. It's your game. But I still love this big axe. Even though it is a two-handed axe, I, I still just love the look of him carrying it with one. <laughs> but anyway, that's it for that. And just to make sure, I wanted to cover the resources down here. Yep. Actually, I didn't check to see if we have any more leaks while I changed my mesh. And let me just check. And we don't. Great. So that's it for applying the materials. The next I want to go over uh, with this one is hair. And it's because hair doesn't actually fit right. Uh, well, we'll roll over it when I show you. Uh, we're going to have to create a new class for it. And in that class, we're going to want to save some sort of off offset for position, rotation, and scale. Uh, but that will be in the next tutorial, so I'll see you then. Bye-bye.